Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Michael Hayes, and it's my great privilege to welcome many of you back here. We just, it's just a year ago that we gathered, um, first of all, downstairs to have a wonderful conversation together. And then we came up here to um, hear a, a wonderful address uh, by the Holy Father. And we also heard a wonderful welcome by the Chief Rabbi. M my job tonight is just to um, direct the traffic. And uh, it's my great privilege to um, ask um, His Grace the Archbishop of Westminster to formally welcome you and to introduce the Chief Rabbi. Good evening, everybody. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to St. Mary's College and to thank the principal, the governing body, and all those who have made arrangements for our being here this evening. Uh, I'd like just to particularly welcome Archbishop Mario Conti, who's probably come further than anybody else flying down from Glasgow this morning. Mario, you're most welcome. We thank you for your presence. I'd like to thank Father Michael, Dr. Michael, for his words of introduction, and perhaps just note that it is his last day here in the college as he moves off in the morning to pastures new in Limerick. What could be nicer? Congratulations, <laughs> Michael. And of course, it is a great honour and a real pleasure to welcome his return to this room, uh, Jonathan Sachs, the Chief Rabbi. Uh, Jonathan and I were on a panel yesterday morning and uh, we're on a kind of repeat performance now, but I'm sure there won't be a word repeated from yesterday to today. You know, I was thinking about the visit of the Holy Father and I th my reflection started at the end actually, at a Birmingham airport where the Prime Minister said to Pope Benedict, you have really challenged the whole country to sit up and think. Well, many events since that moment have posed questions to this country. And I think we are all reflecting on them quite carefully. But then the Prime Minister went on to say, when you think of our country, think of it as one that not only cherishes faith, but that one that is deeply but quietly compassionate. And they were encouraging words, I think, for everyone who earlier that weekend had met in this room as representatives of all the faiths in this land, leaders of our society in its different sectors who were women and men of faith. And indeed, in welcoming the Holy Father, the Chief Rabbi use these words. In the face of a deeply individualistic culture, we, the faith communities, offer community. Against consumerism, we talk about the things that are value, but not a price. Against cynicism, we dare to admire and respect. In the face of fragmenting families, we believe in consecrating relationships. We believe in marriage as a commitment, parenthood as a responsibility, and the poetry of everyday life when it is etched in homes and schools with the charisma of holiness and grace. So it is with great anticipation I now ask the Chief Rabbi to give the first Pope Benedict XVI Memorial Lecture. So you are most welcome. 